13 of the second period, his 250th career goal last night at Calgary. So he keeps moving up that franchise list. Dale Howarchuk still way up on top. He wants that puck inside the blue line. Somebody has got to get it to him a little more often than he's getting it right now with J.R. Jeremy Roenick out of the lineup. And Chuck had injury problems last year, limiting him to 68 games. He still had 36 goals. This is the guy who, back-to-back, -back, has scored 50 goal seasons, led the NHL a couple of years ago. Very dangerous. But as he said, he needs the puck down low, not carrying through the neutral zone. He's not the most fleet of foot on the ice, but he is strong down low, and that is his forte. While the captain of the Phoenix Coyotes, always personable, we had the chance to visit with Keith, Keith Kachuk just prior to coming upstairs tonight. And, Denny, a great story here. He was in the press room just a half an hour before the pregame skate last night in Tampa. Wasn't supposed to play, but there he was in uniform and playing last night. You know, they can say that players get paid a lot of money to play this game. They get a lot of uh, uh, perks to play the game as well, especially in today's hockey game. But it's nice to see a guy who says, look, I'm a little hurt, but not hurt badly enough. But I want to go out and play. So Keith Kachuk loves the game of hockey, and he performs at an extremely high level with 14 power play goals on the season, second in the NHL. John here. I've got Fishman, and i got a player profile. Today is Keith Kachuk. Born March 28, 1972. He played 1991 to 2010 for Winnipeg, Phoenix, St. Louis, and Atlanta. In 1,201 games, he had 538 goals, 527 assists, 1,065 points, 2,219 penalty minutes. In 89 playoff games, he had 28 goals, 28 assists, 56 points, 100 and 76 penalty minutes. In the 1996-97 season, he led the NHL in goals with 52, the first American-born player to do so, and also only the fourth player to get 50 goals and 200 penalty minutes in a single season. If you happen to have any memories of Keith T. Chuck, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on collecting. Bye.